So how to keep safe from this very dangerous and deadly virus called COVID-19? As usual, the wisest thing to do is take everything that comes from the medical establishment and do the exact opposite. So they told us to stay home, stay indoor, don't go out. Do exactly the opposite. Go out and stay outside. Get fresh air, get sunshine, get as much sunlight as possible. Sunlight exposure is what gives us vitamin D. Vitamin D is essential for our immune system. We should try and get as much as possible. Most of us, we are already deficient in vitamin D because we live up north, we live in countries like UK, which are uh, very poor in, in sunlight. So what we want to do is go the other way. Uh, stay outside and get as much sunshine as we can. The second thing that they told us, probably not much so in UK, but in Italy is mandatory, is to wear masks. We should do the exact opposite. We should not wear masks. Masks are useless and if anything, they are dangerous. They are used because uh, viruses are so small that they will make it through the threads of the masks. The threads of the mask are so big that the viruses can easily go through. So in this sense, we are just wasting our time by wearing masks and probably limiting our uh, ability to, to breathe if anything, masks can be dangerous. If they will manage to uh, capture any virus, we'll have the virus right there, a few millimeters from our mouth and from our nose. So once again, let's not wear masks. So number three, in countries like Italy and Spain, it's highly recommended, if not mandatory, to use gloves. We should not wear gloves. Our skin is gifted with its own defenses. If we put a barrier on our skin, we will prevent the defenses on our skin to work and to fight against any, any virus and any bacteria. When we use gloves, uh, viruses and bacteria would just lay and be free to roam around from those gloves. Once again, we should do the opposite of what we've been told. We should not wear gloves. We should keep our hands free. Number four, we've been led to believe that disinfectants are useful in this time. Wrong. We should not use disinfectant and hand sanitizers. Related to what I just said, on our skin, on our hands, we have good bacteria that uh, are part of our immune system and our defenses that will protect us from viruses and bacteria. If we constantly wash our hands, constantly apply hand sanitizers, we will kill and decimate all those good, friendly bacteria that help protecting us. Last but not least, we've been told us to wash our hands thoroughly and as often as we can. We should not wash our hands, or at least not too much. Let's wa just wash them with, with common sense for some basic hygiene standards. If we wash our hands too much, as I just explained, we will uh, deprive ourselves from the protection provided by the defenses that lie on our skin. So we should not wash our hands too much and obsessively as I see people doing in the toilet, in my office. So to summarize, we should take everything that the mainstream media are telling us and do the exact opposite. And now, what can we do to prevent the occurring of uh, the pandemia? 
from happening again. So all these pandemic viruses, they come from animals, right? Swine flu, bird flu, uh, SARS, COVID-19 comes from bats. They say that usually these uh, viruses are spread from uh, street markets where they sell meat and sell animals. So maybe if we leave the animals alone in the first place, we would avoid all these troubles. How about being vegan next time? You can start today. Stop consuming meat, dairy products, milk, cheese, eggs, all animal products. Stop exploiting animals. Leave the animals alone. We are living in a crazy time uh, where our basic human rights, our freedom is uh, dramatically compromised and reduced. I think it's unbelievable, it's absurd what they are imposing on people, forcing people to stay at home, to stay indoor. It's, it's unbelievable, I've never experienced anything like this. And the virus, the pandemic, the contagion, is just an excuse. What they want to do is they want us weak. They want to create new patients. They want to destroy our immune systems by preventing us from being in the sun, by preventing us from getting fresh air, by giving us antibiotics, vaccines, paracetamol, a lot of medicines so that the sicker we will be, the richer they will become by selling us all this crap. They are forcing us to stay at home. It's like a prison. People are going crazy. Imagine people with children who have to be forced to stay in a flat in countries like Italy and Spain. I don't think anyone should stay at home. I think it would be a lot more beneficial for people to go out. And if people are afraid to go out, they can stay at home. Why should I stay at home? For people who are afraid, feel vulnerable. That might be people who are generally vulnerable. The elder, people who have underlying health conditions, fine, let's protect them. And uh, let's uh, advise them to, to be at home. But why should I limit my freedom? I don't believe in.